Hey again, everyone, Nick here at Used Bikes Direct, checking out this CBR 500R. Hop on the website, usedbikesdirect.com, to see those detailed photos and specs. Give us a call with any questions at 866-576-2453. So this one's a 2017 model Honda CBR 500R. It's going to feature Honda's 471cc parallel twin engine in it, and that is paired up to a six-speed transmission. This one we're checking out today is 19,487 miles on it, and to be expected, you're going to have a few of those light little scuffs and scratches along the way. Nothing too major, of course, but definitely be sure to hop on the web so you can see all those detailed photos. As we go to climb up top, we'll take a look at the controls and display, and then we'll go ahead and give her a listen. As always, we're going to start down low on the left-hand side, so you're going to have the usual headlight turn signal and horn here, and that's going to be it. Nothing else to clutter anything up. And then as we sweep on over to the right, what you're going to find is that Honda keeps things clean and simple. Kill switch up top, four emergency flashers in the center, and that starter button on the bottom. Now as we take a look at the display, it's a full digital display with the odometer on the right-hand side, 19487. Let's go ahead and give her a listen. And obviously she does have the factory exhaust on it, and this is a lower displacement bike, so it's not too loud at all. If you are looking for a beginner bike, this would definitely suit the needs there. Zooming in, we're going to give you some detailed shots of the bike along the way. So you saw for yourself 19487 on the odometer, so she definitely has a few miles on it. Or of course, this is going to be a mechanically sound bike, just like you'd expect. You're just going to have a few of those light little scuffs and scratches along the way. Another thing worth knowing our technicians found out is that the ignition key does not work on the rear to release that passenger seat. But other than that, of course, it does work on the tank and the ignition itself. As you zoom in through here, of course, that's a beautiful paint scheme that's on it. This is really what I was talking about as we get to the back of the bike and you see on the exhaust itself where you do have a few of these little scratches and scuff marks. And that's really the general theme of it. Remember, guys, find us on the web to see more at usebikesdirect.com, or you can give us a call with any questions whatsoever at 866-576-2453.